Welcome back, it's Melanie of She Shed Scrapper. So today I'm back with a two-page layout using the brand new Cape Cod collection from Close to My Heart. I am actually going to be using the scrapbooking workshop from the collection. And it's just such a great beach uh, collection. And thankfully, my last two trips to Florida, we have just kind of gone to the ocean real quick and I have lots of photos from there because it is more kind of based on the sea. Um, I live where there's lots and lots of lakes so I will be kind of figuring out what pieces I can make work for the lake um, but I am going to utilize a lot of the sun and sea um, pieces for those recent trips to Florida. So I am doing project two from the scrapbooking workshop and this one here has this great die cut sheet. Um, I had to punch all the letters out and then um, I will back the sheet with photos and letters. In the workshop um, the instructions have or the actual layout has four photos. Um, with the let's uh, covering up one of the photos and the go covering up another. And I just didn't want to do that. Um, I didn't have photos that would be okay covered up. So I am instead going to go into my stash and find, I believe it's the color peach is what I found matched this specific um, color here. This is like the only layout that has additional colors in it. I believe it's probably Sundance and Peach. Otherwise, it is Periwinkle and Lagoon, um, Toffee, and that might be it. It is a very kind of neutral collection. Um, I do kind of plan on adding some more colors in it when I do make my own layouts um, and kind of getting an idea with this peach in the Sundance. I'll probably use some of that as well. So now that I have the die cuts um, punched out, I'm going to glue the, that is the color Lagoon, the letters on the back side. I did speak while I was doing a different part. So part of the, um, optional steps, I guess, for the workshop was adding some um, spray or some ink to the circle and the semicircle. Um, I happen to have my white ink just on my desk. And so I decided to do that to ha uh, before I glued the letters down to allow more dry time. Um, and quite honestly, my splatters came out pretty thick. Uh, so that will kind of need to dry a little bit longer. Um, I probably could have, I don't know. I, well, if I wanted my splatters thicker, I could have rolled the, uh, why can't I think, paper towel. I wanted to say toilet paper, the newspaper, but it's paper towel. Those paper towel roll over it. That probably would have allowed it to dry a little bit faster. It would have kind of smushed my splatters so they would have been a little bit larger but there wouldn't have been anything you know wrong with that so now I am going to tape the photos down um and the paper so again I went into my stash this is from a mix-in paper pack I'm not even sure when um but I like I said I'm pretty sure it's the color peach um and I'm going to use that to go behind the go and the let's um the S and the let's will have this paper under it. No, we'll have a photo under it. Um, I took a picture of the sunset here. I am going to trim it down a little bit because I wanted the majority of it to show. Um, and it really didn't matter because I am using just another piece of paper. It didn't really matter how small my photo was. But I wanted the majority of the sunset to show. And so I did just trim that down a little bit. Um, again, just using that same peach paper and adding that behind the LET. If you had photos, it would be a great, you know, 
the photos they used in the layout, I guess I'll say, were perfect for having the letters over top of them. They had like the feet in the water and I think maybe just a picture of the water and that would be great. I just didn't have enough photos. The only one I really had that would have worked is the sunset one there I used. Um, but I just, I didn't have enough. I had to kind of maneuver and change about the layouts as it was just to, based on how many photos I have. So now I am using that semicircle at the bottom, just following the instructions or really now when you get the layout kind of constructed, they just kind of say embellish kind of based on the uh, photo which is fine. A lot of times I can figure that out. So it's a semicircle, a couple of uh, flags, and then a really cool um, palm tree that is kind of rounded and actually fits that semicircle perfectly. Um, and so I popped that up on some foam tape, and that's really the only embellishments. I do go back after I am done recording and add a flare from Scrap and Happy Studio. I have a lot of kind of ocean summer uh, flares from Scrap and Happy Studio, and the colors of one of them just matched. And so I do add that into, um, I move that palm tree over and add just a circular flare um, at the bottom there. So now I'm going over to page two and on the actual layout they have um, three smaller photos. Again, I don't have those photos. So I am adjusting it based on what I do have. They have the three photos just down the right hand side of the page. So instead I am going to have my landscape photo kind of on the bottom left and then my portrait photo going up the page. So again, it's not a hundred percent like the photo, like the original layout, but that's what I like about these workshops. I love having the extra pieces and the inspiration, I guess, um, to put these together. I can make them my own just by based kind of on what I have. So I am double backing those photos and with that same paper that I did on page one. And then that circle, they just kind of had free floating. And quite honestly, that's just, I don't know, I don't love that. There was a Hello Darling layout kind of similar to this. And I added two more photos at the bottom to kind of make a backwards L. Um, and I just love the way that that looked a lot better. I just don't love floating embellishments, I guess. And that's just my personal preference. I think it's adorable. Uh, but for me and what I, what photos I had, it just didn't work. Um, so I'm going to use that circle to fill in that space at the top then and kind of really embellish that cluster like the cluster on the original layout. Um, so I do keep that pretty similar with the kind of the placement of all the stickers. So I think there's just a bunch of kind of smaller circular stickers and I just make sure that I use up the ones that need to kind of go with the ocean. Um, so I tried to kind of use up some of those, keep it similar to what they have on the original layout as well. Um, and then I do have to kind of mix up, I guess, uh, the other cluster from the layout. They had the uh, flags coming out from the bottom photo going towards the left. Obviously, I can't do that. So instead, I just add it to the bottom photo in the bottom corner there and then add a couple of phrase stickers. I'm just making sure with the rest of the layouts in the workshop that the pieces that I am substituting aren't being used in a different layout or if they are that I can substitute something else for that layout. Um, so once I do that uh, it is pretty much finished with this collection. It's really cool. The extra embellishments are paperboard and acrylic pieces and it's a really pretty blue um, color for the acrylic pieces and they're all kind of starfish and shells and just really pretty. So this is just the scrapbooking workshop. Kind of gives you an idea of 
what it is. If you want to watch the entire catalog flip through, I do have that video up on my channel as well. So you can check that out. Uh, but I will definitely have the entire Cape Cod collection linked down below for you guys. So look at that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this layout and we will see you next time. Bye guys.